Assalamu alaikum. Hi. I'm someone who travels from Sharjah to Dubai every day for work. It takes like around 45 minutes. But there are days where it takes more than 90 minutes. And that's usually not because of a traffic jam, it's usually because of a traffic accident. This month, Gulf News reported that in Dubai alone, in the first half of the year, around 1,000 accidents have happened. 90 of which are already road deaths, and the other 90 serious injuries. Also, what I have noticed is that drivers tend to spend time analyzing and gazing at an accident, thereby causing long tail backs and causing a lot of delay for other people on the road. So accidents cost time, money, and life. So, we propose a solution to this by using our ER drone. Let's see how it works. Imagine a road accident has happened and it's a major crash. The car now sends an SOS signal to the control center. The operator, upon the receipt of the alert, notifies the concerned authorities and decides whether to deploy the drones or not. Now, in this scenario, the operator approves two ER drones to fly to the accident area. Upon reaching the scene, one of the ER drones is taking a 360-degree aerial live video feed, which is accessible to all the alerted authorities so that they can act more efficiently based on the clear visuals available to them. Well, other than capturing a detailed video, our ER drone is also able to identify and scan the vehicle's number plate. As a result, we can get the profile of the likely driver of the car through the Emirates ID, which is linked to the car registration, the hospital records, etc which can eventually give us the details of the victim's name, age, gender, health conditions, current medications, blood group, and so forth. Nevertheless, the operator is able to interact with the victim through the ER drone. Meanwhile, the second drone is managing the traffic by displaying appropriate LED messages to the oncoming traffic, which can be set by the operator or the police. Additionally, we would like to mention that if it was a minor accident, then the control center could be alerted by the use of a mobile app. So, hopefully with all this information shared with the different departments, the alerted hospital can now be better prepared to arrange the right blood type and other amenities as per the victim studied medical profile. The police can now bring the right personnel and equipment as per the situation. All these will ensure faster response thereby increasing the chances of saving victims' life and with our traffic management assistance, saving people's time. This system could also be adapted for a fire crisis. The system is armed and ready for takeoff.